29 on a Tuesday morning, though, we obviously have some rain chances. You'll need the umbrella, the rain jacket, but not going to be a complete washout, though, right? Yeah, a 40% chance of rain today, and that, of course, means a 60% chance of staying dry. So through the day today, we are going to be watching the radar for some showers, maybe even some heavier downpours or a few of them. And as we work our way into the evening tonight, that will begin to fade away. A live look over downtown, a temperature near 60 right now. We have been down in the 50s this morning in several spots, still in the 50s. But as we work our way here into the afternoon, we're going to get into the 70s by the noon hour on our way to 82 as a high temperature with a 40% chance of rain in and around central Georgia today. So the radar picture quiet for us back over near the Alabama state line, beginning to pick up on some rainfall, especially in the Troop County area over towards Heard County, and that has the possibility, if not the likelihood of sliding into central Georgia here over the next couple of hours. We zoom it out and look back into Alabama, finding some storms back into the Birmingham area this morning. And then uh, obviously watching that rain that we saw on the high resolution radar back down into Troop County as well. So 60 now in Macon, 59 in Wrightsville, 55 in Dublin, 59 in uh, Cochrane this morning, 57 in Eastman, 63 in Montezuma, and 62 over in Crawford County. So through the morning hours, here comes that batch of rain into Monroe County over towards Jones, Putnam, Jasper County, so even uh, down into Houston County. I think this is going to be the better chance of rain through the day today during the late morning and early afternoon hours. And then once we get into the afternoon, the rain's going to become a little more isolated in nature, maybe even mixing in a storm or two across central Georgia. There's 6 p.m. tonight with temperatures in the low 80s, and then any activity we do see fades away by the midnight hour, waking up to a quiet start to a Wednesday morning before we go right back into the upper 80s for Wednesday afternoon. It's going to look like a summertime day on the radar, but we're not going to be looking at the same kind of pattern, if that makes sense. This is just going to be isolated showers in and around central Georgia fading away by 8 p.m. tomorrow afternoon on into Thursday. Going to do something similar to Wednesday. Temperatures into the upper 80s with the chance for some isolated showers. Something similar for Friday. Then on Saturday, I've got the rain chance at about 30% right now. You can see the European model has consistently been on board with a higher rain chance. The GFS, we just got the latest run in and uh, not so much. So as things stand now, we're looking at a 30% chance rain, but I do expect that to change as we get closer to the weekend. So here we go. 40% today, 20% Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's that 30% chance of rain for Saturday back down to 20% on Sunday. The temperatures though, I've got a high degree of confidence in this. All right, warming into the upper 80s at eventually to 90 degrees by the time we get to Friday back down to 85 on Saturday. Thanks in part to that rain chance we're going to have in place so far for the month of April with today being the last day. We've seen 13 below average days, 15 above average days. Today I'm expecting it to be right at average with 82 being the high temperature 87 for Wednesday, 89 on Thursday, 90 on Friday. Not quite as hot through the weekend, still warm 85 and 86 for Saturday and Sunday with a 30 and 20% chance of rain. Thank you, Alex. 642 all morning long. We're sharing tips on how to land.